pantry and today as you see in the title I get to bring you a fun fun recipe slash technique so I'm gonna be using the uh, Tupperware's stack cooker for this and I'm gonna do a rotisserie style chicken I've already opened my spices and my olive oil so I can keep one clean hand one dirty hand and I've washed my chicken um, you know rinsed her off and patted her dry and now I just put a little olive oil. I want a little bit on the inside too and on the back side. Um, olive oil is going to give it some flavor and it's going to be fantastic. So I'm bringing you along for the first time. This is the first time I've done a chicken in here. I did a cake in here and um, I, I'll have a link to that cake uh, in the at the end of the video. So if you didn't see that video, you can go watch Cake in 10 Minutes. And it was a pumpkin caramel cake. Oh, pumpkin car caramel pumpkin spice cake. Anyway, so this is, um, you can use any seasoning you like on your rotisserie style chicken. I am, this is a, a crazy chicken lemon garlic. And then I've got Johnny's garlic on top of it because I like garlic. So put all that, get the, all that on there. And inside and out. <clears throat> so, anyway, we're gonna season it. This is how fast and easy. Now this goes um, on the cone. You put the, just like, almost like beer can chicken style, the way it's sitting, not, not the way it uh, comes out. It comes out more like a rotisserie chicken. Really juicy and moist, so. Okay, let's get it on the cone. And that way I, I can, she's not cooperating with me. <laughs> and you're going to, you're going to need the three quart bottom with, there we go. And it sets perfectly just like that. And then this, I believe this is the two quart top. You can use it as a lid and you're all set to go. We're ready to put this in the microwave. That is a five pound chicken. Um, it's going to go for six minutes per pound in the microwave and I'll make sure that it's done when I check it I'm going to use this chicken for a couple of different meals, but one of them is going to be chicken and dumplings So if you want to see that Leave me a comment and if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button for goodness sakes And you get notified whenever I do a recipe or a technique or anything like that And I love to bring you along for this stuff. So Okay, let's go see how this comes out I'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay guys, so the chicken is done. And let me just tell you, I've let this rest for about 10 minutes now. It took 30 minutes. It's pulling away from the bone, I can see at the bottom. And it's actually kind of crispy on the top part here. The underneath is not, but I want the rotisserie uh, flavor and juiciness that you get. Let's pick this up, see? I can get a fork in there and we'll put it on its back. Oh, it's juicy. And you definitely want to leave it rest so you don't lose all that. I'm going to save the broth because part of this chicken is going to, is going to go for um, chicken and dumplings. So uh, tonight's dinner and chicken and dumplings. So there's my rotisserie chicken and or rotisserie style, should I say. And it's steaming hot, but I want to give it a taste test for you so you can see how juicy and, oh my gosh, juicy and delicious, not dried out at all. You're going to have to come in close. Oh my gosh. That is fantastic. Let me bring you in close so you can see. And, and I'll let you see all the juices that are in here too. All right, come on. Okay, so first off, I wanna show you, you get about, uh, there's probably a cup and a half of juice in there. And I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator so I can skim off all the fat and we'll just have the chicken goodness. But I just took some off this breast right here. Look at this. Look how juicy and moist that is. Hold on, get a little bit of a knife. I don't want the skin. I don't ever eat the skin on a rotisserie chicken anyway. Um, unless you do it on the barbecue and you really get it crispy, it's just, it's not, yeah. Okay, this is so moist. 
completely done all the way through. Look at that. I'm gonna have to give you a close up of that. Look, look at that. Focus camera. Oh my goodness. It's so, so moist. And I'm gonna take a big fat YouTube bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely perfect. I couldn't ask for a juicier chicken. I'm super excited to be able to use this for my chicken and dumplings tomorrow. So it was a great way to cook ahead, uh, get some concentrated stock, and we'll have dinner tonight. I actually am going to have this, just the breast meat, uh, next to some salad. And so, uh, very light and easy dinner. So, this is Tupperware's stack cooker. You can do all kinds of things. Three course meals, you can do a whole chicken. The next time I roast a chicken for you, I'll bring you back because I'm gonna do it a different technique and we'll see how that one comes out. I know it'll come out just as juicy. I just wanna uh, see how it comes out as far as browning goes. So guys, if you need to look at this for whatever reason, I've left you a link down below. All right, so we're gonna come back tomorrow with another delicious recipe and or maybe it's a DIY project. All right. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.